Alright, so hello and welcome back to the next episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. In this episode, I'm going to go do a whole bunch of stuff in Kolingjin, and which first includes walking to Kolingjin, obviously. And it's like one step there, so I probably didn't need to hold it, but here I might as well just hold the attack button. It's faster, does the job just as well, obviously. Someone got shamsheared. Preferably no one will get shamsheared and then braked. That would be bad. But that appears not to be the case. Alright, uh... It appears I got m my phoenix down and dried meat positions switched around at some point for some reason. So, I'm not gonna too worry too much about why it happened. I still don't know. I haven't... I don't know the point in my videos where that actually ha happened to me, because I haven't gone back and looked at them all. I generally do that when I, uh, I, like the first time I usually see a full video is when I go back to do the annotations, and that's half the reason why I do them even though half the people probably have the annotations off anyway. It's because it's like the only time I actually look at my the entirety of my videos. <laughs> So I guess that's, it's probably going to be like a month, half a month to a month before I actually find out where I switched my Phoenix Downs and tried meats. I was wondering what happened to my third character. But I mean, Edgar. Come on, Edgar. Don't be such a weenie. Terran Locke were killing these guys just fine. <laughs> Way back when. Yeah, that always happens. <laughs> Pretty much, because the music fades in, like... Uh... Immediately... <laughs> when I can start walking, so... Just leave already, Sabin. Bye. I'll take your drill off your hands, thanks. And now, this is my best opportunity to get some more dried meat, so I might as well take advantage of that. One, two, three, four, five. Now I just gotta wait till I get out of here, which should be any second now. Alright, gotta toggle through this cutscene. <laughs> now for the fun part, waiting for Figaro to go underground. Yay! There we go, menu check activated. Alright then. One, two, three, and we're out of here.
if I don't have to paw through the seven cutscene this time. Straight up. Hoping I don't get a battle. Though I suppose it doesn't make any difference. I'll have plenty of these guys to fight. Well, after I get Shadow, mostly, but... Alright, good. That means I just have to deal with how to figure the battles later. Figured how to deal with the battles later. Why why do something when you can put it off till some other time? Well, that's the first part of this segment. But don't go away, there's more coming up next after these messages. And part two. So yeah, Colington has a lot of NPCs and narrow areas. Fortunately, uh, the uh, geography of the area kind of guides me to most of the places I need to go. So it ends up being not too bad. The inn's fine. Nobody walking around in the inn. Time to recruit Shadow here. I'll equip him later. Uh, my third, my thirty, ugh, my third mini segment is going to be the shortest one, so that seems like the most opportune time to equip Shadow, especially since then I can do it right at the start. All right, so presumably I'm down below the tree here. All the way up, back one down, run into this other tree, which is in such a nice location. I gotta run up for a bit. There's a good chance the old fart will get in my way here, so I'm just gonna run for a bit. He can get in my way for quite a while, I've noticed, on my test runs. I made it. For a second, I was m expecting the music to change. I was like, why isn't the music changing? And I was like, oh, well, yeah, because I went into Rachel's house and not the end with Shadow. Oh, wait, that's kind of not what I was going to do. Backtrack, retrace my steps, mixed it up with an earlier plan. Alright, now I should be right below the clock again. So, one, two, three. Alright, so now I exit the house, end up running into the other house that's been kind of blown up. Certainly seen better days. One, two. Now I just walk all the way to the right, which I might want to wait a little while extra on because there's some lady around here who likes to get in my way. Most of the people here like getting in my way at some point or another. Well, that's bad. I was intending to... I, I was intending to go up and left there, but easy fix. Just work my way down to this bottom left corner. You're not there. Oh, you're there. I was kind of expecting you to be one space over, but... I'll buy that butterfly I was referring to earlier. As well as two poison claws, because those will be oh so handy, and I'll equip them later when I'm equipping Shadow. So now I can just trust the town to guide me out. Put your trust in the spirit of the town, in the spirit of Collingen. It will not fail you. Okay, so, uh... 
presumably I'm just about to exit here. If I'm not just about to exit, that's a bad thing. Made it. And so we make it with two minutes longer than the LLG. Of course, I didn't go to any of the shops in the LLG, so that's only to be expected. Oops, minor mistake there. Actually, there were a couple minor mistakes, but... Let's try this again. Okay then. All, all done that. This time I put. Sh I remember to put shadow in the back row, so that's good. Oops, forgot to be walking up at the start there. I I've my my plan is generally to run to this little girl in the same spot every time just by holding up. Turns out I was in a perfectly valid spot last time, but when I did the dash command by accident. But I didn't know that, so I second-guessed myself and just... <laughs> I, I could have easily continued from where I was, and I should have tried, really. It was better than my odds of escaping. One, two, three... And I obtained the Revivify. It's like the most amazing Revivify in the world. So much better than a stinky old green beret. Didn't need another one of those. Revivifies are all the rage now. One, two, three. I wasn't sure whether to bother going up for just a Revivify, but they are kind of expensive. Either 250 or 500, I think. I, I'm just... that's just a guess, honestly. Pretty sure they were the same cost as Phoenix Downs and Vanilla, so I don't know if they're still the same cost as Phoenix Downs or 500 still. Either way, they're expensive enough that I'm gonna sh take a short trip to buy one, even though it might not be worth it, to be honest. Any second now. Okay, that's not good. Alright, so... If I somehow got stuck on the bridge there's because that guy got in the way, I suppose that it might be the most likely scenario. Not sure, though. I'll end up being at the bottom left of this area here, so... One, two, three. Also, that's a spot where it's not too bad to figure out if I, uh... did get it... If, if I did get it right on my guess. So that's part of the reason why I guessed there. So basically just rewind time in my head and... Okay, uh, that didn't pan out either. So let's... There's a decent chance, I suppose, that if I mess this up, I'll be somewhere below the inn. So I'll just 
worm my way up here and generally it's better to try and guess where I might be and try to take a recovery from there rather than just run around randomly Yeah, where could I have possibly ended up? Alright, just making a general call to get back to the left in the hopes I might end up in that little spot that helps me out. Oh, made it. There we go. Open the menu. I don't want to get into a battle there. Um, not prepared for it just yet. I'll figure this stuff out next time, but for now, I've got a uh, relic, I'm still on relic, equip, skills, item, save. And so that's the end, not without a glitch, but still fine. <laughs>